Did you know the simplest things take an unbelievable amount of effort to make? So when you see something that seems a little silly, do you ever think, I wonder if I could make that? This is Buy or DIY. Welcome to the show. This is a show where we will be getting one product that you can buy. And one will be a DIY version. And we're gonna decide which one is better. Let's get into it. Woo! What? You got a freaking Roomba? A cat's worst nightmare. So this is Brayden's Roomba versus whatever monstrosity we've created. We taped a dustpan on a dowel rod to the back of an RC dump truck. Then we took one of the wheels off and attached a brush to the axle. Oh. <laughs> No! Oh god! Floor always dirty at Bat 19, so let's get rolling. Ah! Oh, did you see no! that? It, it freaking works! This toy rips! Wow! I got a cup of sand from home. Yeah, 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 Can a Roomba go that fast? Probably not. Bad old box! Bad old box! Bing. If you want a vacuum to like actually clean your house, probably the Roomba, but. If you want an action packed wild ride, the Roomba is where it's at. Absolutely. Oh, That's this good. is the snack dip. Look at this. No Cheeto dust. Amazing. It's gotta be just two chopsticks taped together. Yeah. We took it a little farther than that. We gave him a snack dip on every finger by gluing chopsticks all around the gardening glove. I would say it's not as easy as this. What are, the, what are you gonna do with these other three? Just look good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey! Oh God! Oh, careful! Oh! <laughs> Check on tickle. This is a Nightmare on Elm Street poster. <laughs> oh, now we're talking, Jamie. Oh, that one has more on it. Oh! <laughs> you look like you're doing great, dude. Oh. Yeah. I'll go with a snack dip because I couldn't. I couldn't wield it. A oh. black pearl stress ball. This is nice. This is <laughs> yeah, the fire it. This is nice. This is nice. You hate to see the DIY version of this. We boiled up some boba pearls and put them in a balloon to make our stress ball. Easy peasy. Oh, there's something unnerving about not being able to see. It's like the murky depths. It has a feeling to it. All right, we're gonna compare the innards of these two things. For science. Yeah, for science. Ooh, look at that. Mm. <laughs> it's like a rabbit having diarrhea. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with buy just because this one has a shelf life and also your friends might need it. Same. Oh! oh. Yo, this is the Whoa. world's smallest blender. Totes adorbs. Milgan first, who are you? Activate. Oh, here we go! Whoa! Whoa. Blend it up just perfect. Yes, yeah, perfect blend. I don't see how you can top this. You can't make it smaller, can you? Or can you, did you? We drilled a hole in the bottom of a small beaker. Then we attached a nose hair trimmer and sealed it up with glue. Yum. Oh, what the hell is this? Is this even watertight down there? <laughs> we'll see. Wash it around. Oh, don't get it in it. You know, sometimes you make me feel like I'm not good enough for you. Yeah, well, try harder. It's okay. already leaking. It's going out of it. Is it gonna electrocute me? Okay. Oh, it's going! It is going! Oh it's my gosh, going it's going everywhere. <laughs> Everybody did a good job. Nobody died. That was a plus. But I think I'm going with the buy. DIY didn't work. Yeah, they're fired. Sour Patch Kids! A classic. You gotta go for the blue. You're a blue gal? I think everybody's a blue gal. This is just right for the Bat 19 -ing. We melted down some gummy bears and poured it into a baby face mold. Then we just covered them in citric acid and voila, the stuff of nightmares. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. Baby faces. Why are they different sizes? I think these are better. These might be better. Soft, chewy, great flavor. This is like a Sour Patch adult. This is the upgrade. When you gotta grow up, they just don't want to. Reach for Sour Patch adults. Kill me. <laughs> yep, bye. Bubble wrap suit. This, this is, is so a Bat 19 good. classic. Made famous by Dude Where's My Car. Oh, yeah. This is what Eminem would wear if he worked at UPS. I'm pretty sure the DIY is gonna look very similar. <laughs> we took a bunch of bubble wrap from the warehouse and taped it together to create a three-piece suit. Oh my gosh, look It at looks this. the same. Bigger bubbles. Can you slip into that? Cut the camera, just hats off. Well, oh good. It's, it's hard to get over the hips here. Going out on the town. They come with a cape? You look like a king. Uh-oh, look at this guy. 
this looks like it was fun to make. Mm -hmm. And then to go wear this, yeah. people would be like, oh, dude, that's cool. I'm going DIY. I'm also choosing DIY. Whoa! I like that too. I think I just like this a little bit more. Yeah, I agree. What could it be? What? Yeah, it's a classic Chick-fil-A sauce. Really good sauce, really problematic policies. What could go wrong? For the sauce, we followed a copycat recipe that we found online. We mixed together mayonnaise, mustard, barbecue sauce, honey, and lemon juice. Lord. Oh, it's so much! So this one's a little yeah. brighter. This they probably have a lot more hydrogenated fats. Probably a lot more hydrogenated fats. This smells like mustard. The honey! It's everything you want in the Chick-fil-A sauce, plus honey, minus homophobia. <laughs> DIY for sure! Oh! oh! What are these guys called? The gargoyles? Chimera. Chimera. Oh, the chimeras. That guy your legs, bro. Give me one of my legs. I'll give you okay. this. I can't wait to see the DIY version of this. We took a couple different Pokemon plushies and cut off their limbs. Then, we added some snaps and sewed them back up to create interchangeable parts. This is Pokemon, right? That's a Pikachu. I kind of like the raw incisions here. Mm -hmm. It looks very like yeah, comic nice. book. This is a fun idea. I think Pokemon could be into this if you're watching Pokemon. The DIY version is pretty high quality snaps. The little snaps of this yeah. are pretty ingenious. Yeah. I've got to be honest, gang. I was really hoping for a taxidermied squirrel that I could take apart and put onto a raccoon. I got to go buy. I'm going by two, but you would have had me in if you taxidermied roadkill. Ooh, the upside down goggles. Over the hat. Weird. Which way is up, bro? <laughs> oh my god, your eyes look so funny. Give me a high five. Oh, you got a DIY version of these? We cut the flaps off a small box and glued two tiny mirrors into it. Then we glued on a fashionable strap and our goggles are ready to go. Oh. Love the label still on the box from whatever you scavenged oh, it nice. from. Oh, <laughs> it's snug. High five. Now the real test, side by side. Those technically work. The only thing is, it's about this much of your eyeball. And I can see perfectly fine with like 90% of my vision. Which maybe is a plus over these because say you're driving, you know, which I would not recommend with these. You got cruise control on, you wanna get a little wacky? Ooh. Steven doesn't have his license anymore. Well, no, it was revoked. I probably just purchased these, to be honest. Mm -hmm. but this? It's pretty cool. Oh, oh, milk straws. It's this cool straw with all these flavor beads on the inside that infuse their flavor into the milk as you drink it. For a while, it was the only way I could get my kids to drink milk. Really? Yeah. Well, that's bad parenting. Hmm. Oh, heck yeah. Man, I love chocolate milk. What do you think the DIY of this is gonna be? We took some big milkshake straws and sealed one of the ends with gauze. Then, we filled it up with a candy of our choice and closed out the other end. Oh, oh. is it? Whoa, what the heck? Yeah, the milk straws are clear. I wish what they would have gone that? clear. <laughs> There's some cloth that comes yeah. through. I mean, it's working. It tastes good. It's like butterscotch. I don't like that I can't see what's inside of it. I didn't like getting pieces of gauze in my mouth. It's an excellent DIY, mm -hmm. but I think the buy is better. Ingenuity! You brew your pot of tea in here, and then you don't even need to strain it. You just, bam. Well, I'll be. Let's see the DIY, people. More like T-I-Y. We drilled a hole into the bottom of a coffee pot and glued a rubber tube inside. Then we created a plunger with a skewer and a suction cup so that when something pushes against the bottom of the plunger, it raises up and lets out the tea. You cannot, like, set it down. Oh, my. So, already. you lost it! Wait, so it's working? A lot of leaves in there. It's pretty leak proof, y'all. It would have been. The two elephants in the room is that you cannot set it down. And it's also just full of loose tea. Well, you gotta read the tea leaves though. <coughs> what do you see in there? See a bunch of uh, loose leaf tea that you just swallowed. Well, you know what I see. What? It says that the buy version is better. Hmm. Mega tube. Uh -huh. It's got these handles here. For bopping? Yeah, you can hit people, you can bounce it. Ah, ah, that hurt? No. Whoa, whoa, got it. So how are they gonna make a mega tube? We ironed together two big trash bags to create a heat seal. We attached some PVC pipe handles and a spigot. Then we inflated it with an air pump. Oh, <laughs> oh it does have handles. It's like a mean cloud. Okay, we'll bounce oh. to it. Oh, that's a pretty solid bop. Should we take them out to a bigger playground? Okay, Jamie and I are here in the gladiator arena of death. Headshot, headshot, yeah. <laughs> Double blow, oh, double no. blow. Windmill, windmill, windmill. Oh no, he's coming at me. Oh no, I lost a down to one. <laughs> Dead. 
death blow! Knock out! Oh, that was a headshot! Oh, okay. Mine's losing a little bit of air, but it held up pretty good. I lost a handle, but I don't know. Did I win? You might have won. Yes. I think we all know that I conquered you in that battle. Really? Based on uh, what metric? You might have won. It took a beating, yeah, this you, DIY. You got some hits on me. Or I'm going, bye. I love everything about this, but I wanted it to be longer. We're going by. We're going by. We're going by. Bye bye. Make sure to check out these products and hundreds more at bat19.com. And if you have any ideas for what we should DIY next, send us an email here. Ooh. Bat19.com